Y'all got, we spent a, a lot of money, but it wasn't just me. It's people that I've always had to go through to make sure that this happens. And it's women that's in this audience that never tells me no. And I don't know if y'all give them the props that they should have. Now, I'm just going to say this because I'm a rude person. We gave out 69 t-shirts, right? And I want all those women out there, they all need to be in here, right? <laughs> I want you to celebrate and enjoy yourself right now. We have right. DJ Raheem coming up to bless every single person right now with some music. If you got hot flashes, you can do a little in the chair dance. I got power. I you got want, power. You don't want to move? <laughs> I got power. <laughs> Raheem, let's go, DJ. Give let's yourself, go, let's baby. Y'all make some noise for DJ Raheem. Hi, I'm Bridget Eric of My Hat Therapy. My Hat Therapy is a custom brand of hats, um, hoodies, apparel, or different things that I customize myself. Uh, years ago, I wear hats and I started to make over the COVID season uh, more hats for individuals. So I'm on Facebook, I'm on Instagram, Facebook, and um, Instagram, Facebook, and uh, what else? What's the other thing? Uh, Instagram and Facebook, that's, and I have a website called MyHatTherapy.com. Uh, if you'd like a custom hat, uh, we have a sale that's going on for the holidays. We have hats, all custom hats under $100. We also have customized t-shirts, hoodies, and different things. Um, t-shirts have empowering things like hella black, hella blessed, hella, um, hella proud, and these can be for your Christmas gift or um, over the Kwanzaa holiday. Hold on, hold on. Can y'all clap for 
So my name is Kimon. I'm with the Amazing Health as well as Best Startup Solution. Today we have hoodies and we have t-shirt. On our hoodies we have Love Me As I Am. <laughs> you can reach us by emailing us at bizstartupsolution at gmail.com or you can call us at 201-300-7983. We also have our upcoming event which is on the 9th of March which is called Living in Seasons and Color. So for more information again you can reach us at bizstartupsolutions at gmail.com or 201-300-7983. It's my wife's business, uh, Terry Carter. Uh, the name of it is Carrie May. Everything she makes here is handmade by her. Uh, got the bracelets, handmade earrings, and uh, yeah, everything is made by her. So that's all. Hi, my name is Tanisha Rivers. My book is called My Perception Deceived Me. You can definitely follow me on all social media platforms. Tanisha Rivers on Facebook, Tanisha Rivers underscore on IG. And it's all about Tanisha on TikTok. You also can contact me at 347. 347. <laughs> Oh goodness, Kim, I don't know the number. Alright. You can cut it no, off. Just keep going. Alright, 347. You can't. Oh my gosh. He can edit. 347-674-8220. You can contact him. Hope you enjoy it. Goliath and David. David and I. My father's death will be birthed for me. A bit cool, my thoughts yelled. Not at all, I replied. His death loosened the generational curses he carried, giving room for the warrior in me to fully take her position. The position she was given at birth and trained for throughout her life, all part of God's plan. Through the fire I would go, a smoke I won't smell, my first battle to survive death days after birth. My earthly protector turned into my Goliath as he attempted against my life, gasping for air, I found myself instinctively fighting to live. Fear felt rather than safety. No recollection I have. Years went by with damage done. Distance placed between father and daughter. Unconditional acceptance and love never felt from the man chosen to be my father. All part of God's plan. Mother and I, a conversation we would have. An explanation she gave. Helped me understand she tried. An emotional moment as she relived the day God used her to save my life and a curse began, a generational curse, the worst of all. My mother saved me from physical death. My father placed me in a subconscious fight or fight position to survive my mission. Anger I felt towards him, disgust for, with her. For choosing this man day after day, I saw her choose him after the beatings I suffered, the curses he spit my way, tearing my self-esteem. How could she allow such disrespect? Her reason she had, none I understood. All part of God's plan. A dark journey followed my life, trust nowhere to be found, safety only I can provide, a heart overflowing with pain, great days my normal, anger my favorite attire, worthless, unloved my mantra became. An emotional life lived in self-sabotage, never knowing the whys of my choices, no time for exploring to live the objective, emotionally unavailable subconscious action, much comfort it gave, sustained me, kept me moving, fueled my pain. To love a weakness, slow me down at will, to conquer my focus on my own, I found my way, although never alone I came to realize, Jesus, a constant presence in my life. Leaned into him for comfort, a start to a beautiful relationship. Love, mercy, and grace he provided. Purpose my life attained. Wisdom from the pain I gained. Dad, my Goliath, the vessel used to create me, all part of God's plan. To love my father, much prayer required. His end of days now near, chosen for this moment, face to face with my Goliath. Walk away or tear down the curse, my choice alone. Into the suffering I went, alone I was not. Trust in my heavenly father, my weakness made strong in him. His love within me, deep rooted roots of love, trust, faith, and hope I now had. As my Goliath laid at my feet, forgiveness he sought. 
Mercy, grace, and love I gave on his last days, a general cur generational curse I slayed. My rebirth began, my lungs suffering, perseverance, patience not in vain, all part of God's plan, his, pro his plan to prosper, not to harm, preparing me for a purpose beyond my sight, transmutation taking place, adversity turned into healing, anger into love, sadness into joy, pain into wisdom, shackles destroyed, from victim to survivor, from surviving to living, a spiritual warrior queen I became, all part of God's plan. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. This was not just for entertainment, but every single thing that came up on this stage was purpose driven, purpose designed, and it was sent by God Almighty Come to on. give us peace, release, and for us to go home and be better, better in the capacity of me. This was a healing opportunity for us. This was a, listen, if you went through hell to get here today, today when you were supposed to be here today, if whatever is going on in your physical body that you're feeling right now, you were supposed to be here today. I love y'all for real in real life. Thank you. I know y'all hungry, we're gonna get past with, but I wanted to uh, mention to you, I mentioned it earlier, we're gonna start a young women's uh, mentoring group. Um, please, oh, good. this is my phone number, 973. That's your real number? Number three. Yep. Two, three. If I get 200 people, we gonna have we got enough. We got, we got enough young ladies out here, and we're gonna make change in Patrick. Say your number again. One more time. Nine seven three seven zero three two three eight seven. Thank y'all and enjoy the food after Riz. I love you, and then definitely go downstairs and finish shopping because y'all. The vendors are open till six. They tell me. Ladies and gentlemen.